Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I think I want to go through with it. Um, fixing up the Ranchero, and maybe getting a drive by the end of next year, at the latest. And, well, this video is about well, the work it needs to do that. So, let's get started. Hey, like my kind of surfer hairdo. So what happens when you don't comb your hair when you wake up. Well, the first thing it needs is electrical, and today's task was to get the gauges working, and I think the gas gauge moves, because it moves up a little teeny bit, and I know there's not a whole lot of gas in there, and to get the temperature gauge working. I tested the wiring, shorted out the, you know, the wire going to the center against the ramp wire to the battery, and it goes up to H, so that means the gauge and the wiring's all good, so maybe the sender's bad. I don't know about the gas gauge though. I'll have to put my gas in it to see. I got the carpet for the, you know, I had a second half of the carpet. I just need to put it in. It just needs to be cleaned. That's all. Turn signals. They intermittently work and it also doesn't have any brake lights, which that ties through into turn signals, which the wiring's all fine from what I can tell, so I'm thinking. Probably fall on the switch somewhere, so they still make them brand new, believe it or not. And got various other odds and ends here. A speedometer from the 67, right? Don't know why it's in here, but air cleaner. One interesting thing I found is I bought another carburetor for this car a while back. Yeah, I bought the 170 carburetor. But the 170 carburetor is different from the one that was in there. So I think maybe this engine really has a 440, I think, in there. It just has the 170 carburetor uh, air cleaner. I don't know. And of course, it still has to free on a tree. I've yet to drive one of those free on trees out of first gear. First time I drove it's when I was like 15, driving up from up the street to my house. And I also drove it from this upper yard down to my lower driveway a couple years ago. The head gasket has a leak in it. You got your feel the exhaust coming out through the upper hose and you can see a bubbling through the reservoir. I like the reservoir, it's from my 97 Subaru Legacy. Kind of ugly, but it works. The battery's from the Trooper. I'm going to see if I can acquire it permanently for this car. Here's the carburetor. I kind of had to force it to fit and I broke it, broke the choke right off. So I need to buy another carburetor or get the original one rebuilt. One or two, the original one works so I just leaks gas over the exhaust manifold. It also needs a clutch. I didn't notice this when I was driving it, but my brother and my dad says it has a slipping clutch and it has a very noisy throw up bearing. So. You know, the generator doesn't charge, and I put like three different generators on there, but I don't know, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna take one of them in, get it rebuilt, and I don't know, see if it works. Then I just traced out all the wiring, and the wiring's fine. I put a new voltage regulator on. I don't know. I have an alternator from a Corolla that actually bolts up perfectly to the bracket, so I think maybe I'll convert it over to that. Um, the master cylinder has a unique problem I haven't seen before. Uh, sometimes you push down on the brakes and you have pressure, and sometimes you don't, and also the brake pedal doesn't return You know, back up to the top. You have to push it up manually with your foot. So, time for a new master cylinder. I also bought another brake light switch. And I don't know what, my brother said there's problems with the brakes, so they don't really grab right. They're probably out of, out of adjustment, but I'm gonna replace all the brakes all the way around. New shoes, new wheel cylinders, hardware, all that good stuff, just to be safe. And it needs tires. This tire is actually pretty good. I actually bought this tire and rim for the 8481 Volkswagen Rabbit. We had diesel 
but of course the lug pattern was different. So, but it fits this car fine. It's very likely from a Ford Falcon because the rim's exactly the same. Here's actually the, I took the tire off the rim that was, you know, very originally. And, oh boy, where is it? Look at those cracks. The date code is right here. Can't really see it, but the last year's 88. So that's the year I was born. So these tires are as old as I am. And they're all full of cracks, and they're probably not safe to go over like 15, 20 miles an hour. So, another project. The window regulator is kind of really sticky. It obviously needs grease and hopefully not replacement, but we shall see. Still has the original spare tire, the JC Penny spare tire. Hard to believe JC Penny used to sell tires and whatnot. And need to finish up the trim right here. I'll trace out the wiring for the tail lights. I don't think the problem's in the wiring, I think it's in the turn signal switch right now. Or the connectors to it. And it's, since it's been sitting for a while and we haven't put on non operation, it's actually dropped out the DMV system, so. Probably a VIN verification and maybe a brake and light inspection. Not brake and light inspection. Well, maybe. I don't know. I never really tried to revive a car that was been dropped out of DMV. The one thing I almost forgot to say is the radiator. It works fine. And, you know, it's not leaking or anything. But another unique problem I haven't really seen before is... The little tube that comes off here for the reservoir is actually broken off. And I barely got this reservoir, I mean the overflow tube on. So, you know, maybe I'll buy another radiator eventually for it. What the hell do I have going on here? Wiring. Look at these old ass tires. You don't see tread like that anymore unless it's these replica tires. Even them are radials. Something else you don't see anymore is non halogen headlights. I have some Silver Star headlights I bought from a cheap Wrangler that eventually spilled over to the Azuzu Trooper, which will eventually spill over to here when these ones burn out. Oh, they were also my 67 Mercedes. Here's another one. Sorry, the video's just kind of shaky. For some reason, the, the taillights work fine, but the parking lights up here don't work. I got them to work somehow. I, like, tightened the wire, tightened a positive lead from the battery over to the brake light switch. I don't remember why I was doing that, but the parking lights came back to life. One more thing also I noticed. The entire time, at least that I remember, the oil light and the generator light never really worked. Or one of them worked, I think it might have been generator. So, I don't know if that's repairable or not, but we got gauges down there, but I would like to get them back, you know, alive if possible. All kinds of junk in here. Oh, a Sharpie. Fuses. Not as much more than I, than I would expect. Deteriorated. This could be saved. Anyways, that marks the end of another video, and I want hopefully you watch till the end.
that's about it. Catch you on the flip side.